All right, B. Who are you and what's your game? If it isn't my dear old chum, Mr. Disraeli. Now, Prime Minister, which of your friends is about to stab you in the back? rights bit by right. bit to the courts, we can scarcely call ourselves free, sir. This is so like you, Gladstone. You would rather throw your body upon the gears of progress I'm than surrender one iota of power. Of this work in London, a by God, Disraeli, you are a fool. On the path to the scaffold I'll not stand on. idly by and watch you drag parliamentary privilege through the muck. No, certainly not. You'd rather return us to the yoke of tyranny. Perhaps while we're at it, Mr. Gladstone, we could repeal Magna Carta and never return the power to the police. Must be. Please feel like they can knock me down for no apparent reason. Merely because I do not wish to see government placed in the hands of judges, you would make these slanderous accusations? I'll not stand for it. Then I shall obviate the requirement. Good evening, sir. Pleasure to meet you. B. B! My name's Herbert! Then why are you following the Prime Minister? It's just the job, sir! Some old bloke paid me to...
Bloody hell! Where did you come from? Well, I was born in Crawley, but that's by the by. Who are you working for? Oh, I never got his name. Uh, old chap, big moustache, wore some kind of uniform. Who's ours, maybe? What's his game? Please, you'll kill me. And a three-story drop will shatter your legs and send you to the workhouse. Difference is you can run from him. Tomorrow! Oh, my lads are going to attack the Prime Minister's carriage on the way to Parliament. Perfect. <laughs> Very well, you've bested me. 